All right, so it's about four o'clock and I'm going to start prepping for dinner. So tonight, I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna have, but I'm gonna make a slaw for it. So I took a look in the fridge and we had this half of a purple cabbage. Now if you turn it around, it looks kind of funky. It looks kind of old, kind of expired. This has been in here for probably a month, but it would have been in the compost bin a long time ago if it wasn't for a Bigo. Not gonna to talk too much on this, I've talked about it before. It is a reusable um, food wrap. That's enough said. Send the check, Bigo, I can talk more about it. So I'm just gonna really thinly slice that expired part or moldy part off. See, look at that. That's perfect. You can eat that. What's wrong with that? I'm gonna keep the core on because it keeps it intact as you cut. This is a tip I learned at a restaurant I worked at. Just did a slice down the middle there. And then... There you go. Ah, uh, there you go, bud. So, some nice thin cabbage. Feels a little soft, but that's kind of what you want anyways. So, in the bowl, I'm going to put cabbage. Pretty easy. You could put carrots in here. I might actually do that. Apple, any kind of fibrous, tough vegetable. So yeah, I'm, you can add in any like tough vegetable you want. The acid in the lemon juice or lime juice will kind of help break that down. And same with the salt. And then you can either just stick it from there or you can add like a creamy kind of mayo or a cashew base to make it creamier. And that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get it. Alrighty folks, so going in with a pinch of salt. This is like pretty fine stuff here. It's or sorry, pretty, pretty um, thick. And then I'm gonna go in with probably around a quarter, two, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna go in with lime juice, juice of a lime. You can add apple cider vinegar if you don't have a lime, white vinegar. Yeah, I might add a splash of apple cider vinegar after, but I'm gonna keep it pretty original. Try it first, you know? Wow, there's a lot of lime juice in there, way more than I was expecting. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper, probably a quarter teaspoon or so, half a teaspoon. If you're keeping track at home, I'm not. And then just a just just a hint of sriracha, just just that. Oh, oh, just that. And then just mix it around. I'm making this earlier so it has a chance to mellow out in the fridge a little bit. Um, Dawn doesn't get home until around 5.30, so plenty of time to just hang out, be merry in the fridge, and then by the time we're ready to eat, it'll probably be a lot tastier. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's where it's at. So there you go. That's the slaw. And then, um, yeah, comment down below if you can guess what we're gonna make. And we will see if you're right. Um, you might be, you might not be. The hint is, it's like a Tex-Mex kind of vibe. Um, definitely not Mexican, definitely not American. Kind of somewhere in the middle. So, yeah. See you in like two, two hours. Yo, dinner time. So, we're gonna make some red pepper, orange pepper, yellow pepper, onion for fajitas. Can never really pronounce that word properly, but yeah, gonna slice these up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put it in a pan with some spices and stuff and see where it goes from there. Um, with that slaw, maybe a little bit of sliced avo on top, maybe a little bit of corn. That'd be nice, some refried beans in there. Mmm. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna heat up some water here to defrost the frozen corn. Uh, if you're not buying frozen corn, you did something wrong. Corn has like zero nutrients in it. So, it's just a nice little pop of sweet. I've been loving these uh, corn jalapeno peppers. When I first saw them, I'm gonna be honest, I chirped them. 
because why don't you just add jalapenos to the corn, but you know, I don't got time for that, so we're doing it though. Shout out to PC. You guys employ me, so big up to them. Well, I wish you employed me more. If you're interested in living in Southern Ontario, President's Choice teaches cooking classes in their class in their stores. If you live in Toronto, Mississauga, Burlington, Guelph, Hamilton, Niagara, St. Catharines, uh, comment down below and I'll send you the link for my cooking classes. All vegan, plant-based, trying to get you how, trying to show you how to eat more vegetables. So click the link or something. We'll, we'll talk down below. Pretty nice, huh? Alright, so we got some oil cooking. You hear that? You want to hear that noise when you cook. Preheat the pan. Nothing sticking. You can cook with water if you want. I do that sometimes. I'm gonna be completely honest. Just cooking with oil is more of a habit than anything else. Um, but yeah, there are the onions. I'm gonna add a clove or two of garlic in there, but pretty simple shit here. I'm just gonna fry these up with the peppers. Again, I've said this before in my videos, but keeping a bowl here with your scraps. Great tip. Could not advise this enough. If I didn't have this bowl, the peppers would be everywhere. There'd be onions all over the sink. It'd be a mess, man. Like the bowl keeps you keeps you in your place. Uh, and then, if you want, you can put that in a Ziploc bag. And then, when you have a huge Ziploc bag full of scraps, you can throw that in a pot with some water, and then you have veg stock. Season it with some salt and pepper, bay leaf maybe if you want, whatever herbs you like, spices. And that's a great veg stock that's essentially free because you'd be throwing the compost out anyways. So, there's another one for free. If you like that, comment down below. If you make your own veg stock or not. If you don't, that's cool. I don't have the time either, but yeah, I just thought I'd throw that one in for you. So I got the corn in some hot water just to kind of heat it up a little bit. Now I added two garlic cloves. And now I'm gonna add in some pepper medley there. See, working in bowls, pretty clean and efficient there, huh? Another thing about Dawn is she doesn't really like my music taste. So, before she comes home, I'm gonna put on... This band. If you don't know this band, it's not gonna focus. Uh, this is Slaughter Beach Dog. They're kind of like a... Punk kind of influenced, obviously, if you know the band Modern Baseball. It's a singer in that band, and it's kind of like soft rock, kind of. Kind of like, I would compare them to like the Weaker Thans. If you know the Weaker Thans, they're kind of like them, but not Canadian. Um, yeah, if you want to hear more about music suggestions, you know what to do, down below in the comments. Just slide on in there, we can talk all day about music. See, look at that, we're cooking this up here, just a nice little medley. You guys, you gotta eat the rainbow. I mean, this is a mostly, this is a very red rainbow. But, we're gonna add that purple cabbage in. We're gonna maybe add a little bit of green avocado. Maybe some blueberries, get real weird. Blue spir spirulina, I don't know, you know. World's your oyster, just go out there and eat whatever you want. So I'm gonna run down quickly on the spices I'm gonna put in. Coriander is the seed from cilantro, so it's pretty much self-explanatory, you're gonna put that in. Any Mexican dish. Chili pepper, I mean a very popular Mexican dish is chili. So chili pepper kind of makes sense to put that in. I kind of put turmeric in everything uh, for a good bone, bone and joint health, you know? Overall brain health. Uh, this unlabeled mystery jar is smoked paprika. With a nice smoky taste. And then cumin is just one of my favorite spices and it's also very Mexican-y. A nice, uh, in this empty seat here, I'd love to put some oregano. That would be nice. Um, 
Oh, we don't have any oregano, so I'm just gonna do that. Probably an even amount of all of these spices, so. Yeah, that's all she wrote. So here's the spread for dinner. We got that slaw that I made earlier. And we got some refried beans that I just heated up. Cubed avo. We got the vegetable medley. And in here we got some warm tortillas. And that's it. So, it's the next day. I'm just realizing I didn't sign off in the video. Um, kind of took a turn. I spilled something on the tablecloth and we had to run out to clean it. Uh, the tablecloth's in the washing machine right now. Not sure if it's going to be clean, but hopefully it is. Um, so yeah, hope everyone had a great day. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. And don't forget to comment down below on what your favorite part of the day was. If you want to see different kinds of videos, let me know. I can totally do that. And um, yeah, I'm trying to do one video a week, but I might be wanting to do two videos a week to see, see how it goes. So... Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.